All right, let's uh, let's give it another go. We need better towers, though. I think that was the problem with the last run, is uh, is we need better towers. But I really like the Sacred Flame. I like the extra difficulty. So we'll we'll stick with Baylock Sacred Flame. I think Silas might be slightly stronger, but but we'll we'll go with that. Okay, so Stronger Towers is the name of the game. We have Volatile Poison. Poison Monster is hit by fire. Uh, all poison effects are converted to area effect damage. Amplify Poison. We could go Frostfire with the Flamethrower. That's very strong, I think. Alright, let's do that. We have no straight pieces. If we go that way, though. That's a... So, what I'm looking at is the top one. The flamethrower is very good. The, the pieces are terrible, though. The pieces on these top two are quite bad. Let's go... Let's go Volatile Poison and try the Poison Tower. I think this is a this is a better selection. And we'll hope we see Amplify Poison 2 or we see some Fire Relics. Okay, so we got Straight Piece into T Piece into Straight Piece into Altar. Yeah, that works for me. <laughs> and Lustrous. <laughs> Have we seen this one before? This is crazy. Okay, so we want... We want to take advantage of the back 40 here, I think. Don't we? I think we do. So I guess we go, like, all the way up like this, all the way over like this, all the way back down around like this. That right there is the plan. Let's uh, let's see if we can make even a, a tiny fraction of that work. Um, hmm, this needs to be one further down. That feels bad. I mean, this first one I'm not too worried about. Slimes and angry bees, we can we can do those with relative ease. That was, catch that poetry there? That was pretty sweet. But I think if we just do that, we're fine. And that'll give us some time to build. So let's let's buy some pieces for building. actually do that this way. Okay. All right. I think the poison fountain literally kills everything. Uh oh. Hey. Guess what's fire damage? The the torch. This now this may be obvious to everyone who wasn't me, but that's surprising to me. I did not expect that. That fire synergy, though. I think I can do this. Do we have a, a dot piece? We don't. Okay, that makes that a little more tricky. But we can do this because this can go up like... Oh, can this? Hold on. 
No, it can't. Because we need to put... This can go here. But then this path needs to... So we're going up this way. We're going over this way. Then we need to come back down around this. Which means we need an L piece. Like that. We need a piece like that, and then we need to we need to block this off. But this needs to go all the way down around. That's going to be a lot to figure out. Um, we're all good. Thank you. All right, that's going to be plenty. We should be covered. Excuse me, Dice Tower. What are you shooting at? Highest HP? Is that what I want you doing? I I didn't change the default priority. I don't I don't know why that happened that way. Does it remember priority between runs? The Mega Block is basically dead to us. Uh, what upgrades do we get for Poison Tower? There is a... Everybody gets a little bit of poison with Poison Sprinkler. Or or it can do fire damage. Which I, I don't think we want. Okay, so then... I think what we need to do here... This is going to be coming down... This way. Oh, because this is this is gonna go this way. Mm. Okay, we need we need to redraw our straight piece again to make this work. I can put this down here. I guess I can I guess I can do that. But we need a straight piece for this gap. Okay, so let's see. So, poison sprinkler. It doesn't doesn't make it any worse, and it just means that we'll get more explosions from there. I think. And I think we're still deep in in maze building here, so I'm gonna do that because that. Oh yeah, that's a big improvement. Ooh, can't can't put that there, unfortunately. Maybe that means we don't put this here. Sure, we lose. Ah, uh, no, I don't think we do that. I think I think we do put this here. Yeah, more poison, more profit. I'm very concerned about a Hornet King, though. Now that I look at it, that doesn't seem that doesn't seem good for us already. Seems too soon for a Hornet King game. Okay, so this is going to be... I'm switching you to highest HP. And then once the Hornet King comes back around this way, we're going to hit our overclock. And I'm going to do extra fireball. Shoot a fireball. So... The explosions are doing some work there, I think. That okay, that felt that felt good. If that dice tower didn't roll a six, I think we would have we would have taken huge damage this one. But yeah, the sprinkler just means that we have a lot of uh we have a lot of good. Let's see, and then you can't you can't put that like that. It means that we have a lot of poison coverage, which I think is very good for us. Yeah, that doesn't work. The 
current the current location of the corrupted tiles is is really ruining our our fun just slightly what do we what do we need in our life here this clearly has to be a dice tower can't can't abide a two five will work More, more time in range of some stuff, but like, yikes. Oh, here's an interesting question. So this, there's a, there's a fire upgrade for this. So if we get, if we get two of these towers next to each other, do they just go crazy? It's not easy for us to do that right now, but it seems like that would cause just an endless explosion chain which would be insane. Uh, how do I... I think I just need to build more dice towers right now, if I'm being honest, though. So, so what we need is we need our dot piece, which we have a dot piece in the deck now. We don't have a dot piece in the deck. Oh, do we have to sell this to make this work? Well, if we get the straight piece, we can put it here, but that's the wrong order. Uh, I can't put one here, right? No, that doesn't work. I can put one here, but I think that's too late. Too much of the poison will be gone. I'm not sure how to refactor this to make that work. And, and time is ticking, friends. So I'm just going to I'm just going to put down some some of these. Yeah, we need we need another source of fire, but the sprinklers do give us a, a source of fire. Uh hold on. So now we have we have a problem immediately, which is that we have brood mothers. Fireball is, is helping, for sure. It also is another trigger for our poison, so we got that going for us. But this this lady, she's gonna be a problem. I'm saving my overclock for this uh, in case for this after this pops, and then we're going to hope that that's enough. She really needs to pop before we get there, though. We're taking hits here. no matter what we do. Yeah. Damn. The Broodmothers are rough, for sure. Why are these not moving? I'm annoyed. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, here at least we can do two in a row. So let's let's at least try the uh, try the combo. No, uh, no guarantees that that works particularly well, but this, this too is basically worthless as well. That's enough, Olive. But yeah, these, these starting towers that we got this time were not, uh... We're not the ideal starting towers. Oh, man. Come on. All right. Twos is what we get. 
Our hope is that the fire, the fire coupled with the poison does some good work. That's going to be, it's going to have to do like pretty insane work, to be honest. Yeah, we are already on the final, so, but like the, the Hornet Kings and that sort of thing are going to be a little, a little spicy. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to overclock this dice tower earlier rather than later to get the Hornet taken care of. It looks like we're getting some explosions, but it's nothing, it's nothing crazy. So, again, it's the Broodmother that I think is going to doom us here. Please die. All right, uh, let's see. Anything, anything to do? No, not really. Man, the, the Broodmothers are just rough. Yeah. Well... We survive. We we need a good tower, though, to be sure. So it looks like the uh, the dots on the floor move greater speed or greater, I think, greater damage. Or actually, maybe greater speed is better for us. But yeah, we we chose this path for the straight piece, so we're happy. Let's go. Let's go greater damage. Cannon tower is good. Decimator is okay. We do have poison synergy, but it's poison fire. I think we reroll here. All right, let's get let's get trusty fireballer going. Okay, so explosive demolition. When you sell a tower during battle, eh? When an electric tower deals damage to a burning monster, it extends the burn duration one second. Fire sources will be surrounded by buff tiles or time savings. I think it's got to be, it can't, I, explosive demolition I'm not interested in. Although I guess maybe we could sell stuff to get rid of Broodmama stuff. I've never taken Ember Guardian. We don't have any electric, so Spark Amplifier isn't much of an offering. We'll go Ember Guardian. But... It, it sounds okay. I'm I'm unconvinced if it's that good. All right, so we want we want this second straight piece. I think. So we'll go down bottom. All right, we are very familiar with this stage. These are awkward to utilize. So it's, it's nice that we have these, but it's like, how do you actually make them produce? <laughs> I mean, I guess we can do something like that. And then... We have no dot piece, though, so we have to be a little careful. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Tetris skills. So let's see. So we could do... And the problem is you can't utilize any of these together. That worked out better. That was pretty good. Okay. I think we do just fine on this first one, so I'm not super worried about it. Hold on a second. I, I blinked and I almost missed that one. Uh, the heal is probably nice. I think we're doing okay, so I'll just do that.
Where do we want to go here? I guess we do still want to go up that way. So I'm going to extend this one up so we get a little more a little more time and space there. Uh, but the the next question I think we're asking ourselves is well, it was going to be how do we get poison, but now I'm feeling like it's how do I get another fireball tower on top of that, which I think I'm going to I'm going to put those two together. Our Tetris is kind of kind of lame at the moment, but So I was I was gonna do all kinds of other stuff, but I think I think we are best off doing that and then figuring out where we want to apply poison. Which we can apply poison here, but that's kind of that's kind of lame. Eh, maybe we do it anyways. If I loop them back around to here, no, we'll never get that. Um, we we have enough that I can do one more draw and see if we come up with something better. All right, that that feels good enough to me. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna absolutely decimate this wave. And what I want to do is I want to get... Are we, are we in danger here? Am I in danger? Question mark? I think we're good, but... I'm doing this just to get more more time on target for these. I think that's pretty decent. Now let's see. We want fireball bounce count plus one. No longer explode on hitting. Instead, they split in two smaller fireballs. We want that. So we'll do that. I, I felt like the getting getting the the fireball towers going was more more critical, but I could I could see it going either way. This feels very harrowing every single time. We're like way too close to, and we're gonna have to deal with the brood mother, which. Toss the stun, I think. We're definitely going to need more. This is so annoying. Trying to figure out where I can place an axe tower. There aren't a lot of good spots for it. Those are. Oh, I thought this one was a six. Never mind. probably unlock that last one that I placed, but that was just to be on the safe side. We've taken enough damage, is my 
professional opinion. trying to think there's no way I can bring them down and then back up this no I think we I think something like this just to get rid of some of the small stuff is smart The upgrade there. Oh, I can't put that there because we don't have enough space. I I don't think the poison tower followed by the uh, followed by the fire tower is is very good, unfortunately. But we'll try it one more time. Maybe we can put another poison tower here. Unless this shifts, we can't really get them to go out and then in again, which would be what we would want them to do. So hopefully this moves somewhere useful. Mm, okay, I can't help but be a little nervous about that. We do have some good fireball towers. They're doing some good work. Explosion and damage I think is good and a straight piece is good. We got it. Overclock on the fireball tower is OP. Now please move, corrupted tile. This one right here needs to move. Yes. Okay. Good, good. I don't know if I want to spend that tile. That tile is pretty valuable, I feel like. So our, our real kill zone is here, at least the, the primary one. I think we like improved damage more. Uh, yes, it is the final wave. Okay, whatever. Fine. See if I care. I think we're great oh i like that i can put this here though that's actually that's funny being able to put that there and face that backwards kind of fun all right we don't have great cards Broodmother is the one that I'm most concerned about. But I think I think we are okay. Yeah. 
I think Fireball Tower is uh, is what did it for us. This is such a strong tower. But we survived. We managed to gain back a little bit of health. Feeling good about that. <sighs> Having scrap is so good. But what goes well with scrap? Scrap and royal? No. Scrap and flame isn't great. Draw a card after placing this block. Scrap and inspiration go pretty well together. Well, but flame rune is so good. Let's go... Let's go Flame Inspiration. So we get the card draw. Okay, so we took Ember Guardian. We have Volatile Poison. So we want we want Flamethrowers. Okay. Your dice towers change into different elements based on the number rolled. Huh. Golden Roulette. At the start of each round, tower prices change randomly. Eh. Elemental dice is interesting. I don't think we're going to get to use it too effectively, but... Straight piece it is. This map... is curious. Yeah, effective, I don't know. Interesting, for sure. Um, I kind of want to place this like this just to get the, the duo of greater attack plus. I'm I'm compromising a little on on pathing here, I think, for for some better setups potentially. This does seem quite good though. Like I think I'm gonna put a fireballer there, a fireballer there. So that just rolled a six, which means that it is doing arcane damage. I don't know that that helps us, but that's fine. That's plenty for us to survive the first wave. It's hitting for nine? It's critting a lot. save on that regardless so then there's kind of there's kind of some science afoot here we're not taking advantage of this back area here very effectively if I had drawn it out I think I would have planned this differently but This is going to be an experiment in a little less focus on on getting the pathing just so. Oh, arcane always crits on enemies above that. Oh, interesting. Ooh, a poison and a heal. I'll take it. Thank you. 
trying to figure out if there's a way to get a good poison, early poison here. I mean, it's not early per se, but... This is going to have to just get blocked off, because I, I mishandled this, so I think we'll just do that, so that everybody is arriving the same way. It means they'll have people come in that way, though. Hopefully we have enough to, to do the job here. This one may be a little touch and go. We do wanna we do wanna get poison going at some point, but that mega brick kind of sucks. Uh we'll do a coin hunter. Let's see if we can just get a little bit of cash going. Thirty coins. Uh, I'll take that and an arcane blast, I guess. And okay, so this is this is a bit of a compromise, but I'm gonna do that so we can get double poison sprinkler, and then now, unfortunately, we're we're looping people around like the the far outskirts here. So I would say this is one of our worst worst mazes to date. Uh, which may be fine, but... Wait, why can't I see this thing's radius? I can. It's just it's just all the way down here, but it does extend under these. That's good to know. All right. Okay, we probably need we probably need to use some stuff up, but I think we can do this. Uh, it's dubious if it passes OSHA requirements. I think that's my that's my big fear. All right. And then I do think I need to use a few of these. Let's do like speed up there. Just, I'm clearing my hand out. This is not a like a strategic move. I just th thought that I needed to use that range up because we we have too many cards at the moment. Yeah, I'm planning on doing another one. I wanted to see if I could get any uh, any value out of it though. First, oh, this is so in the wrong. Uh, the corrupted tiles are pain. That's the hardest part of this uh, of this challenge is the perpetual poison is super annoying, or the perpetual corruption, excuse me. I should probably move that this further forward if we're gonna do that. I think that's the extent of where we're going to build this time, and then... One makes it a chill tower. So, I guess that makes dice towers no longer bad. 
kind of interesting, actually. You can't really count on it. All right, there's a poison tower. Interesting. Yeah, you can't count on it, but it does seem it does seem reasonable. Trouble here? I think we're okay. It's just dude, that was a little that was a little further than I was hoping he would go. And honestly, these frost towers are are helping. Yeah, it certainly gives them more flexibility. Oh wow, a five piece with two. You love to see it. I think I think you go greater damage royal rune on this one. And and the thinking is just having a five piece at the start, I think is insanely good. Uh definitely a reroll there. Do elemental dice. Your dice towers change into different elements based on the numbers rolled. I'm assuming that this does not work with this. It would be fun if it did. Chomp Tower is a safe bet. But the upgrade for Giant Dice Tower gives you stuff. So... Hmm... Yeah, I guess I guess we'll go I guess we'll go chomp. Uh and then we got spark, we got wirefall. Burning monsters killed burst into flame cause five second burn on monsters in the three tiles. We're doing fire. Uh, frost fire though, this is perpetual chill. We gotta take it. Our our fireball towers are gonna shoot slower now, but they will they will snare, which I think is is big. And then we can get a shop if we go here to up. Let's see. Remove a card. Do we have a card in our backpack we don't like? The T piece might be that card, but I don't know that we need it. Let's heal and get five max HP. And then we're going to go here, shop, alter boss. Okay. That is a lot of... Buff tiles. Whew. And unfortunately we get we get overlap there if we do that that way. Okay, let's let's figure out the plan. So we're gonna have stuff enter over here, I guess. So we can go. With this one I'm always I haven't figured out the appropriate path here. Maybe we go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Technically we could do that. Oh, okay, so that I think that's the that's the key. So we want to do I really want to do... I guess I could do this like this. We're, we're closing things down there, but we're getting a really nice tile there, which I think is okay. I, I think the Guardian Rune is doing more work than I expected it to. trying to figure out how we we best take advantage of that like I think we have some great
We have a great location for that, and I, I think that will be enough to carry us through the first wave. I didn't really want to close this off, though. But maybe we, maybe we have no choice. I, I think I already regret placing that piece there. These are some good runes. It's not a great thing. We'll, we'll unlock this. So I want to go up like this and over like this, which I can't I can't do right now, but that's the plan. The plan is to go around this like this. Yeah, I, I was planning on undoing it in Lustrous. It, that was a temporary something or other. Um, so this would be a great tile to get out. Right now, I'm making a mockery of of the ideal way to build this. Like, anytime I'm closing off these corridors, I'm doing a disservice to our cause. Um, okay, we need we need to map this out. So we start here, and then like I want this to go and hug like this. This, this, we can't go through this twice. So yeah, so we need to go up like this, over like this, around like this, and out like this. And I think we could potentially go like this. All right, I'll start with that. It's going to take a second. This tile is going to need to move in a in a favorable fashion. But that means that this gets blocked off, which we can do immediately. Okay, we got a little poison to go with our flamethrower. That's not bad. I think we're fine with this. I'm going to send that around like that, and then I think we just block this off. And then if we wanted to, we could try and find a place where we could add the fire, but I think that's going to be uh, a problem for next time. Please tell me you're going to die. That flamethrower is supposed to do It's not doing work. Damn. That flamethrower is really underwhelming. I just want to throw that out there. I had I had great hopes. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's just... I, I thought that the flamethrowers were AoE attacks, but it, right now it's not looking like it's hitting two. Um... The, the Frostfire initial hit, I think, is what got us. Like, Frostfire slowing down our attacks is what's hurting us, but... It's not the end of the world. So, okay, so I wanted to go around like that, which means... I'm very broke at the moment. 
This is gonna go like this, and then the idea would be to do something like that. All right, well, as we get some dice towers, maybe we'll do more, but. All right, we'll get back to health. We'll scrape back the health. So what do we want to do over here? I mean, clearly we want that just blocked off. That's fine. Then this, we could go, we go down like this, back over like this, through like this. Th this space is narrow enough that we could go like that. That's the plan. Good. Looking okay. I'm kind of looking for a place to put a chomp at the moment. That just doesn't have enough legs. Uh, okay, and then we'll get a dice tower later on. We should get our uh, we should get our towers going sooner rather than later. Our uh, our our fireball towers, that is. We're gonna go red upgrades on them. Just want that broodmother to die sooner rather than later. Wow, we absolutely decimated the the broodmother's brood. Okay, so then they need to come in here. So we want them to come in like this, go over like this. We can't do better than that. Okay. So that, that is roughly what we're planning to do here anyways. So I have a little bit of money. Let's get let's get one of those and all right. It is interesting being able to fish for uh, for options. Get the health back. I'm feeling I'm feeling comfortable right now, so. Okay, so one thing I would love to do if we can swing it is get get our poison going over here.
which I, I know that wasn't pretty, but I'm just going to do that. Ordering here kinda is not great. Maybe I'll put a uh, flamethrower here with extra damage. I think we're good though. I haven't been using our chomps much, but the uh, the flamethrowers coupled with the poison sprinkler seem like they're going really hard right now. Now, obviously, we have. We have broodmothers to deal with, so you know, like things can get a little a little awkward, but okay, so I, I think the one of the better things we can do here is more getting more poison so that throughout the early areas here, we have complete poison coverage. opportunity for that to work particularly well, but I think I think there's enough there for this one, as, as long as we go with the range upgrade when we have the opportunity. Yeah, I, one thing I would really love to see them add is uh, DPS meters for the, for your uh, relics, it would be really interesting to see how much damage is actually being done by volatile poison. I think the answer is a lot, but we will we will never know. Like especially on the broodlings, it just seems like the, the explosion damage just means that we're absolutely shredding them. Alright, what are what are we hoping to do here? Our flamethrower towers are doing a staggering amount of damage as a side note. I would like to get a chomp out. So what, what do we, which one of these do we want? Attacking it bites the target to slow it down by 70% inflicts 10%. And eh, we'll do more poison. I I do not think they are. But I, I am not sure. Oh yeah, you should absolutely be on highest HP. Yeah, I, I don't think the flamethrowers are. I thought initially they were. And I think they are for us because we're getting explosions off of them, which is causing them to go like absolutely crazy. But I heard a chest. I can't see it though. There it is. This final wave, we got this handily defeated.
Solid. I I think I like our I like our tower selection at the very least. I like having a poison rune. Did we take one that was a scrap rune? No, we didn't. I think it's hard to make a scrap room work on such a large block. Uh, range is always useful. I mean, missile tower is super good. Fire towers gain 5% extra critical hit chance. Critical hit chance from fire towers causes burning for five seconds. That seems really good. Elemental blueprint with elemental dice. So 10% damage boost. If we just have one of each dice tower rolled, that seems pretty easy to accomplish. But Phoenix Feather also seems strong. All right, later, later in Lustrous, have a good one. I, I'm not sure that was the right decision. The that one could have gone either way. Maybe we can get the other one at the shop. Poison and Electric doesn't seem great. Ah, straight piece. I want the straight piece. None of the towers look that good. Let's re-roll it. We don't care about one point dice towers re-rolling. I think I'll re-roll again. When your towers crits, deals 50%. Ah, uh, we'll take Voodoo Doll. Uh, I'm gonna do one more roll. I know that's greedy. Uh, let's see. Mystic Gauntlet could be good. All right. I think I like that piece too. All right. I think we're good. We're going to an altar. Uh, remove a card from your backpack. Sure. Let's remove the T piece. Thank you. Okay. And we're on to the boss. We can get some of these. I was saving for something, though, I think. Flexible strategy is interesting. What was the other one that I was looking at? Sure, one health of passing a level. That would have been good, but... I'll do shop discounts. Probably should have done those before we went to the shop, but that's okay. All right, boss time. Okay, so I think for this first night, I think we're just doing dice towers on these. Which, if we had done amp the elemental amplification thing, would have been... Very clutch. that. Don't have enough for a flamethrower. Do we? I think I think our dice towers carry on this first one. Famous last words, but you can always buy more towers if problems arise. Which problems may be arising. No. I think we actually I think we got there. We did indeed. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff.
So if we want to get max value out of this, we're going to be putting this like this, I guess. It's not terrible. Certainly an awkward piece to be working with, but that's that's kind of life. Eh, could have been, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Um, we'll we'll invest in a in a poison tower after this. And I'll probably transition... Hey, Randy, welcome! I'll probably transition my uh, my dice towers to be highest hit points so they start chipping down the boss. I think that's probably the plan. This is going to be So that means that the stuff that we have over here needs to do needs to do the job. But I think that's reasonable to expect. Those big guys coming in faster than I necessarily anticipated, but I think we got him. Oh, maybe we don't. Did I really still not get him? Damn. Ah, wanted to save the Mystic Artifact for later. That's a shame. All right, no big deal. Slight, slight setback. But a flesh wound. Hmm. Don't really want to do that, I don't think. I can do that, and then this can go one further over. Okay, well, I think we, we've done what we have to do. We've done, like, 17 under damage. It's not terrible. This would be my next upgrade. I'd love to get this sprinkler. You seem all good. 
I'm also kind of surprised to see that we... We're down one tower, actually. Which is kind of interesting. I don't think these are getting used by anything better. Nice. We're down to one tower. So this guy is going to walk over here. So we can probably get uh, something maybe on him over here. That might not actually be the case. I kind of wonder if I could put something here and put a chomp on, on him immediately. I don't know. That, that might not work. said I wanted to get this upgraded. So let's do that. Right, well, we're going to have a lot of work to do. I don't think we have what it takes, if I'm going to be honest. I think we're going to come up just a little bit short. I think we're gonna do fine with the wave, but I think that this guy on the final wave is just gonna be a lot. We're gonna have a lot of damage to do, and we have not created that uh, that crazy a uh, that crazy a path for him. Actually, I guess we're doing we're doing okay an okay job on him. We're just we just we just want cards that are gonna make us stronger. That's gonna be the the last thing. But we only have to do twenty six hundred damage, so maybe we can. But bear, bear in mind that we do have to put up with the fact that... I can't quite get that there. I think I do this. Let me do that. Let me do that. Trying to think, what else can we do right now? Toss one of those there. Okay, we might have an upgrade we could do later, but I think, here we go. Oh, boss is down. All right, that went super fast, actually. Wow. I, I think we're going to be okay. I do reckon. All right. Total for the run, it was all about fire damage. Dice Towers did a surprising amount of work, though. Not a bad, not a bad run. Not a bad run at all. Okay. Well, I think that's going to do it for us for today. I'll toss some links into the YouTube chat. But like I said, I got a lot of stuff going on. 
So I'm going to uh, I'm going to skedaddle here and go take care of light the life business that I've been ignoring. But uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody, and we'll uh, we'll have more updates soon about what's going to be happening.